Hey there, Adrian Elise here. Welcome to the Gaia Daily for June 29th through July 1st, 2020. How are you doing? Wow. Well, Venus is coming out of the depths of its retrograde, and we're starting to come out of the fog of the confusion of this Venus retrograde, just figuring it out. Uh, and also finding more confusion as we try to move forward and the issues of all the that we were working on subconsciously during the retrograde are all coming to the surface namely where your life doesn't fit who you thought you were or who you think you are or what you thought you wanted and you have no idea who you are or what you want (laughs) if that resonates then you're doing it right and this is the reason why the astrology is in an epic lining up for us right now so we know we have this jupiter pluto exact conjunction at 24 degrees capricorn very very potent and powerful it's trying to break down everything that's false so in our personal life with this venus coming out of retrograde it's breaking down the belief systems. It's giving us an opportunity to break the belief systems, the contracts, the personality constructs, um, everything of who you've been for everybody else. And as a supernova soul, that's kind of the deal. That the trap we get sucked into because we were told again and again, lifetime after lifetime, that we didn't fit in here. We're too much. And we were kept in low regard while at the same time our powerful energy used as food for negative forces. So we've got to completely rewire so much to be able to move forward. And, but indeed the universe is saying it's time. It is a new chapter. Now it's going to be till the end of July that we really uh, know what this is about, but the time, the new timeline is here. And now we've got to examine everything that's in the way of us stepping on that thing. And so that's the deal with this Venus turning erect and coming out of those shadows. And it's like, oh, all the feelings that you were able to compartmentalize and kind of put aside to just get through are coming to the surface. Now, with Mars having moved over the Aries point into its home sign, it's bringing some fire, some much needed fire. It's good. It's action. It's like, yes, let's go. Mars at home. It's like, mm, strength, forward movement, action, change, right? And the change that we need to make has everything to do with Aries because what's happening right now is that Mercury and the sun are coming together. So Mercury is going backwards in retrograde apparently, to us the way it looks, and coming up with the sun. They're crossing like ships in the night in cancer, in mysterious womb, in square to Chiron, in Aries, which is the wounds of where we haven't been able to be who we are. So doesn't it make sense that Jupiter and Pluto are supporting us so nicely? maybe rather dramatically, in breaking down everything that's false. But what if that's what you've based your whole way of just survival and getting through for lifetimes? And then there's this feeling of like total disconnection because everything that you've been clinging to isn't who you are because you've only been living a fraction of who you are. That's this pain of the Chiron and Aries. It's like where you've had to squeeze yourself down so small, turn down that light in order to survive. And so this astrology is about with that Mercury Cancer, Mercury Sun in Cancer, square Chiron, Mercury and, and the Sun coming together, this identity crisis, thought crisis around nurturing, but also giving us an opportunity to rebirth into who we really are, to take that leap. This this bigger star self of who you are that's trying to land, because that's this timeline alignment, that's what this is about, is trying to land in your life and on the earth, except you have no idea because you've been living one little splinter of the truth of who you are. So this is the purpose of the Venus retrograde, it appears, is to reorient, to completely disorient us <laughs> so that we like throw up our arms and say, 
okay, whatever, all those old stories, I'm putting them in a bonfire and I'm just getting rid of all of them. The emptiness, the loss, the disconnection. You know, Venus turning direct is bringing up huge energies around how these souls have felt in their earth experience so much. This disconnection of not being met on a spiritual level when your whole reality your whole reason why you're here everything you've ever done on the earth is about your spiritual path and purpose and not one person for say the last 10 lifetimes that could identify support or validate that so you have this incre incredible emptiness of loss of something's missing which is your path and purpose which is exactly the energy of this bigger self and yet, you know, the disconnection, it's almost a deliberate program with the contractual relationships you've had in your life over lifetimes to keep you feeling disconnected from who you really are. So you can never come back into your power, never come into your path and purpose because you are that powerful and you are here to lead the way. And can you let everything that's happened and those, all these stories that are coming up, blooming up, blooming up in our present life, but clearly connected to past life patterns. Can you let it all go and be that nothingness, be the emptiness? And maybe that's what's being asked of us right now so that we have a space for that bigger star self to land. But it's important to know that this astrology is saying you don't know who that is. The timeline's landing and this is why you're disoriented and you need to completely disorient in order to reorient. But the whole point is this Chiron and Aries and Mercury and Sun are daily experienced planets in square to Chiron saying it's time to rebirth who you really are. And you don't know who you are. It's confusing and it's dark and it's lonely and, you know, the story goes on right? At least we've got Mars on Aries <laughs> bringing a little fire and grabbing a hold of this sense of self, the I am. And like, can you be with that emptiness where all the, everything that you thought and you've worked on is kind of a lie? And then if it's gone, it's like, who am I and what am I even doing here? But what if you're making space for that I am? for that God consciousness. And like you've been living so small and so disconnected that you don't know who this is. So your re your disorientation is actually a reorientation <laughs> to this new timeline. And that's July. I'd have to say like July seems to be about like, whoo, wow, we've been through it. And now what is this? What, you know, how do we adjust? How do we make the most of this astrology? You know, this is powerful. And it's interesting that the sun and Mercury and Chiron, when they're all exact in conjunction and square, you know, Mercury and the sun together in square to Chiron is at nine degrees. Uranus is also, you know, in a sextile relationship to the sun and Mercury saying, this is about the new age. This is about the Aquarian age. This is about the big, big, big next chapter. And we're taking it very personal because this is the deal. Our personal planets are all wrapped up in it, right? But it's powerful because it's like nine degrees and nine is a number of completion. And it doesn't this just feel like our life is like, it's like, ooh, sucked into the, you know, you move towards the new timeline, sucked back into the old timeline and karma contracts and loyalty contracts and the confusion and then ooh, a little bit of more time here and then you know so this is we're just here for july we're going to be back and forth and can we use this time to take advantage and then the message coming through around the power of joy and feeling good and celebration and creativity and the fire of life coming back into the zest of living after this very strange, dark, disconnected chapter and claiming that back. That's how we resonate and change our vibration and find. I mean, I guess that's the message. It's like to move into that ideal timeline. You, you know, we want to claim the higher vibrations and the joy and the celebration right now to vibrate in that direction that's also with Venus turning direct and coming out of the shadows. 
bringing all the other stuff out of the shadows and but it's showing us exactly what is keeping us in the lower timelines and so very very potent and powerful and interesting time and Pluto and Jupiter are exact through the first of July so these next couple of days super potent and powerful to just be resolute in your warrior self that this is about you claiming your spiritual presence and your spiritual truth and that feels good it's exciting it's you know just that get in that energy I'm seeing a wheel um like this energy of moving finally right and um movement brings up stuff and it also shows where I'm kind of seeing a wagon wheel like where it was a square and then you add a spoke to make a wheel this is Venus retrograded back to five degrees so to the end of the month into the like the first couple of days um Venus is at five degrees until the second and so it still hasn't moved from its degree where it turned and five degrees though is a spoke on the wheel it's like everything is saying that we we are moving forward this is a new chapter it feels like the dark ages but we are moving into this new chapter new timeline we just have some massive adjusting and to do and we need to take advantage of these powerful times but say you do put a spoke on that wheel and you're moving that wagon out of the mud <laughs> and then the mud is slinging every there everywhere right and if there's structural issues like this is what capricorn energy is about with the jupiter pluto there it's like once you start putting weight on that wagon and you step on that timeline and you're moving out of the mud and the mud slinging and if there's a, a weakness in the structure of that wagon wheel that's when you're gonna find it it's gonna break so what's not carrying you in your chariot to the future is breaking right now. And it might feel like your whole life is breaking and you don't know who you are, what you're doing, and that's really good. <laughs> not very fun. So um, it's a time to just breathe. It's like Venus retrograde. We've kind of been holding our breath, you know, in this whole weird time we've been in. And it's like, whew, take the mask off. <sighs> breathe in the air. You know, the baby, the brand new baby that's trying to be born, the most crucial thing in coming to the earth is taking in the air. So it's almost like just know this is a time of rebirth and it's a rebirth of your true self, which you've been in denial of and your bigger spiritual self that couldn't quite come all the way to the earth. And so just breathe, <laughs> keep breathing and feel the air and the light the prana of the universe come in and help you adjust and change on a cellular level to these profound changes that we're not seeing yet you know really in our everyday manifest world but we are feeling them profoundly and um so let that breakdown happen and just keep breathing and know that we are in the time of rebirth into our bigger true self so hang in there it's so potent just try to be present as much as possible grab a hold of that celebration that joy that higher vibrational frequency and above the fray of the local politics right and we'll meet each other there so thanks so much for being a part of the journey thank you so much for being a part of the supernova soul tribe if you've decided to join that membership group it's ten dollars a month and it's a, an idea of coming together and working consciously as a group uh group project we're exploring exactly what that's going to mean together but a very exciting chapter for us in saying yes to who we are and our bigger selves and to finding each other and getting back to work on the amazing projects we came here to do as supernova souls so can't wait to meet you there and until then i'm adrian elise namaste